As these elections continue across the country, the American people are faced with a very clear choice. We can elect a president who will lead us into more interventionist wars of regime change, or we can elect a president who will usher in a new era of peace and prosperity. It's with this clear choice in mind that I'm resigning as vice chair of the DNC so that I can strongly support Bernie Sanders as the Democratic nominee for President of the United States. And now I ask you, stand with me and support Bernie Sanders. I'm resigning as vice chair of the DNC so that I can strongly support Bernie Sanders. The bottom line is, Senator Harris, when you were in a position to make a difference and an impact in these people's lives, you did not. And worse yet, in the case of those who were on death row, innocent people, you actually blocked evidence from being revealed that would have freed them until you were forced to do so. There is no excuse for that. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, oh, you owe them an apology. Senator Harris. <laughs> Your point about judgment is absolutely correct. Our commander in chief does need to have good judgment. And what you've just pointed out is that you would lack the courage to meet with both adversaries and friends to ensure the peace and national security of our nation. I take the example of those leaders who have come before us, leaders like JFK who met with Khrushchev, like Roosevelt who met with Stalin. Here's the real question I believe you should be asking is, who is fit to serve as our commander in chief? This is the most important responsibility that the president has. What Donald Trump has been doing in Syria and what we have just seen with him inviting the Turkey to come in and slaughter the Kurds show what an unfit president looks like. It, it, it highlights how critical it is that we have a president and commander in chief who is ready on day one, bringing experience and understanding in foreign policy and national security.